Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. When you buy a new computer with SSD, in most cases, it has only one partition. At this time, we need to partition it. This video will show you two effective ways to do it. Don't miss it. Part 1. Partition SSD in Windows 11 with Disk Management Part 2. Best SSD partition software for Windows 11 Partition the SSD in Windows 11 is essential. The reasons are Manage your SSD better After partitioning the SSD into several separate partitions, you can quickly and orderly manage the data on each partition. For example, one is used as the system partition of Windows 11, and the other is used to store personal data. Run different Windows OS on the same computer. If you want to run Windows 10 and Windows 11 on the same computer, then a separate partition is very necessary, because each operating system requires a separate system partition. Reduce the risk of data loss. Keeping personal data and assistance separately helps to protect the safety of personal files. No matter what your purpose is to partition SSD, you can partition Windows 11 through disk management. It is a building tool of Windows. It can shrink volumes, extend partitions, and format partitions. Let's see how to shrink and create partitions in disk management. Click search icon at the Windows 11 desktop and enter Create and Format Hard Disk. Then open it. Open Disk Management. If Windows OS occupies the entire partition, you can shrink volume to generate unallocated space. Right-click the system partition and select Shrink Volume. Enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes and click on Shrink to continue. Now you can notice a piece of unallocated space located on the right of the system partition. Right-click on the unallocated space and click on New Simple Volume. Follow the wizard until the last step to create a new partition. Attention! Disk management only supports shrinking volumes in NTFS and REW. If the partition is in FAT32, then you have to find another way out. In fact, you will find that it takes much time to create partitions one by one using disk management. So you might have a try on the professional disk partition software, Alme Partition Assistant Pro. The software can not only create a partition on the unallocated space, but also create another partition on an existing partition. It supports resizing partitions, merge partitions, and it is also easy to allocate free space from one partition to another. In addition, unlike disk management, the software can shrink partitions in both NTFS and FAT32. Just Google Army Partition Assistant Pro, download and install it. Let's check out this professional and easy tool. Launch Army Partition System Pro. The all disks and partitions will appear on the main interface. Right click on the C partition and select Split Partition. You can see that a new partition E is automatically generated here, and you don't need to create a partition again. Customize the size of the partition to be created and hit OK then you will return to the interface. Click Apply on the upper left and hit Proceed to start the process. There are more functions on the main interface that you can try, like Merge Partitions, which can merge two partitions into one large partition, and Allocate Free Space, which can directly allocate free space from other partitions to this partition. This video provides you two best methods. You can use disk management to shrink and then create partitions. 
or you can try to use the most powerful disk management software, Ami Partition Assistant Pro, to split an existing partition into two partitions at once. If you have such demand, then I believe it will be your best choice. Hope this video can help you a lot. Want to know more about Aomei? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.